Let me help you understand blood types and the RH factor coming up. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I am a bedside registered nurse. I am a working family nurse practitioner and a mama of two. This channel is geared to help make nursing easier on you. I'm sharing tips, strategies, and educational content. So if that sounds like something you're into, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. There are eight different blood types. You have your O blood type, which is your universal donor. You have your A blood type, B blood type, and your AB blood type, which is your universal recipient. So I just mentioned four blood types. Where does the eight come from? If you have noticed when you are looking at someone's blood type, it is followed with a negative or a positive sign. That positive or negative sign signifies the RH factor. So if you add a positive or a negative to each blood type, it makes eight. The RH factor is a protein that can be found on the surface of red blood cells. If your blood has this protein present, you are RH positive. If it does not have it present, you are RH negative. So during pregnancy is when it technically can be a problem if you're RH negative and your baby is RH positive. But to understand blood types, you need to understand the difference between antigen versus antibody. So let's imagine this is your blood vessel. Within here, this is your red blood cell, also known as your erythrocyte. And at the protein surface of each cell, you'll have an antigen known as a surface marker that differentiates your blood type. So those little red pokey things are the antigens, also known as surface marker. So if you look here at the board on your O blood type, there are no antigens because it is a universal donor. It can give blood to everyone. Your A blood type has A antigens on the surface, and your B blood type will have B antigen surf, um, on the surface of the red blood cell, and your AB blood type will have A and B antigens on the surface of the red blood cell. And next are your antibodies that trigger an immune response that live outside of the plasma that interact with antigens. So those are your antibodies. So think of it like a key in a lock. These antibodies are floating around and if it picks up a foreign invader, it's gonna launch an attack. So if the wrong blood type was given to the patient, it can cause agglutination. This is when the blood could clot and it's not compatible. So a blood transfusion reaction would occur. Link above if you want more info on blood transfusion for the bedside nurse. So your O blood type, as far as antibodies, is going to have anti-A and anti-B antibodies. For your A blood type, it's going to have anti-B antibodies. For your B blood type, it's going to have anti-A. And then your AB blood type will have no antibodies because this is a universal recipient. It can receive the blood from everyone. So what type of blood can be given safely to a patient during a blood transfusion? I want you to remember the RH factor. So if the patient is RH positive, on the positive side, they can receive either positive or negative blood. On the negative side, if they are RH negative, they can only receive negative blood to help you remember to differentiate. So your O positive blood type, if you are going to donate blood, you are able to donate blood to O positive, a positive, AB positive, and B positive. If you're gonna receive blood, O positive, because they're positive, they can receive O positive and O negative blood. For the A positive patient, they can donate to A positive and AB positive. For the A positive patient, they can receive blood from A positive, a negative, O positive, and O negative. For the B positive, the patient can donate blood to B positive and AB positive. They can receive blood from B positive, B negative, O positive, and O negative. AB positive can donate to AB positive, and AB positive can receive blood from everyone because they are the universal recipients. So they are the takers. So this is all. And then you have your O negative blood type and this they can donate to everyone. So this is your universal donor. So this is all. And the O negative can only receive blood from O negative. 
because on the negative side, they can only receive one type of blood, which is a negative. For A negative, they can donate to a positive, a negative, a, a B positive, and A B negative. And then the A negative can receive blood from A negative and O negative blood. And then the B negative can donate blood to B negative, B positive, AB positive, AB negative, and B negative can receive blood from B negative and O negative. And then the AB negative can donate blood to AB negative and AB positive. And the AB negative can receive blood from a B negative, A negative, B negative, and O negative. Be sure to check out my other videos on how I differentiate MCV versus MCH. Click on the card and I'll see you in the next one.